Hey everyone, welcome back to more Pico CTF, getting started in cybersecurity capture flag and hacking. So we just finished up another previous challenge, the Piazza challenge. It's a lot like an internet relay chat or Slack channel for support. Now let's move on to another kind of quick challenge, 20 points here, uh, before we get into some of the hardcore stuff like 50 challenges, 50 or 40 point challenges, etc, etc. So let's check out Leaf of the Tree. We found this annoyingly named directory tree starting at problems blah 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 it would be pretty lame to type all those out directory names but maybe there's something in there worth finding maybe we don't need to type out all those names follow the trunk using cat and ls <laughs> what hints tab completion is a wonderful wonderful thing okay huh so there are no links here. There's nothing to particularly like click on or go to or go see just like in the either in the previous ones so I think we're back in the shell, right? Back to this black box right over on the right-hand side. So let's connect. And this directory thing, this directory tree starting at blah, 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 uh, problems, a lot of hex characters, a lot of hex values, this is a folder in the file system. So if I were to go to the shell, right? Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. We have a, a command prompt, and I see... I am at the tilde here. So if I run pwd or a command to print working directory, it'll tell me I'm in forward slash home forward slash underscore underscore John Hammond. So that's me. That's my home directory. But that looks kind of similar to this forward slash problems forward slash 10 0 F7 blah 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 because that is a directory or a folder or a location in the file system. So in Linux, and remember we're in Linux in this black box, all of folders and all directories and all paths are separated by these forward slashes. Forward slashes. You may be used to them in Windows, like C colon backslash Windows backslash System32, blah, blah, blah. They use backslashes in Windows, but in Linux, we care about forward slashes and really normally like shorthand, quick and easy uh, path locations. Like my home directory, forward slash home, forward slash John Hammond, is synonymous to my user profile or like my my documents folder in Windows. And that's normally like the C users, John Hammond, forward slash MySpace documents, blah, blah, blah. But this is just home, my username. So it's home John on my home computer, on my regular laptop. So if I were to change directory or CD, we can change directory to the maybe the, the top level or the, the root directory, the furthest back, the furthest most uh, path or folder in the file system. So that forward slash is the very, very tippy top of the, of the, the, the tree, the trunk here. So ls, they said, to list things or to uh, see what is available in the current directory that you're in, in this case, if I ran PWD again, it'll tell me, okay, print working directory, my current working directory is the forward slash. It's the root directory because I changed directory there. I CD'd into that location. And the prompt changed correspondingly. So you can see in that output, when we tried to list all the stuff, you can see that problems is in this directory. And that makes sense, right? Because it, it, it builds off each other. The forward slash, forward slash problems, blah, blah, blah. If I were to CD into problems, if I try an LS, oh, I can't read everything in there because there's some hidden files probably, right? Some some hidden directories that are maybe for, for other users or for other people trying to play the game. So, but we've, we've got this location. We got this big one that's random seemingly. So that's probably for our protection. If we wanted to, we could CD to that in a relative path, just like we've been doing into CD problems because that is the location relative to the root directory. So now that we're in problems, we can CD into paste from browser, paste that in. Cool. Now we're in that directory. But if we wanted to use an absolute path rather than a relative path, let's say I hit CD with no parameters, no arguments. Remember, nothing following a space. If I ran PWD, I'm back in home. But if I wanted to use an absolute path to get to that directory, I could just copy that whole thing and CD, paste it in, paste from browser. 
And it knows where to go because we've like specified the absolute path. From the very, very back of the file system, from the root directory, we go all the way there. Now let's ls and see what we're doing, what we've got here. Oh, okay, trunk. Follow the trunk and using cat and ls. Okay, so let's cd into trunk, ls. Oh, uh, there's more. Let's cd to trunk. Uh, D091, blah, blah, blah. LS again. Oh, geez, it does this over and over and over again. Right? Let's CD to trunk BF10 LS. Oh, goodness gracious. Follow the trunk using cat and LS. And they say use tab completion. What does that mean? So if I were to do CDTR, uh, oh, if you hit tab, it'll auto complete where you're moving. Let's uh, zoom out here so you can see stuff. Get one directory closer, I guess. Let's ls. Oh, I'm back in the trunk. I got another one there. Let's tab to autocomplete. I'll keep following the trunk. It looks like there are a lot of branches, but the trunk is what they said to follow. So, oh, oh, cool. We've got flag. That must be what we were looking for. Let's cat. Cat is another command. And again, if you need help with any of these things, you can run man cat. To check out the manual pages, man, and then the argument or the parameter is whatever command you want to learn more about. So this is concatenate files and print them on the standard output. Oh, okay. So print on the standard output means go to your terminal screen. So cat will normally put files together if you uh, specify multiple files, but if you only cat one file, all it does is it puts it out on standard output. It prints it to the screen. It dumps the contents of that file. So let's cat flag. And, oh, this looks a little messy, but we can see a flag in here, right? Because uh, that, that username right here, uh, the two underscores are denoting my username, and they may denote yours too, at web shell, blah, 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 the prompt that we're in. But everything up to the start of our username is the flag, because Maybe there's just no new line character or something to denote that it's the end of the file. No, like, space following it. But we know that, okay, 8863, whatever, all these hex values, hex because they go from 0 through 9 and then A through F, maybe that's a flag. Let's try and submit it. Paste it in, hit submit, and yes, we did it. Challenge solved. You're up 20 points. Just like that. Okay, cool. We can solve more challenges if we want to, but let's again CD... Let's get back to our home directory. But I want to show you a little bit more. Because let's go take that prompt again. I want to uh, copy this path. And I want to paste it in. There's another command we could use. And I want to get used to showing you these commands or more things you can do. I hit Control L just then to clear the screen. And that will clear the buffer up to where we've what we've seen so far. So if I hit control L, that will clear the screen. Also typing in the command clear will do the same thing in Linux. So another command we can run is called find. You can check out the man page for it. Find search for files in a directory hierarchy. So find will by default just list out all the files that it sees in the current directory and then it'll be recursive. It'll keep looking through more and more and more uh, files in all the other subfolders. It will travel through all of the branches off of that original trunk and even keep following the trunk. It'll, it'll go through all of them. So hit Q to break out of that. If I just run find, no arguments, no parameters, because it'll work in the current directory, it'll work in this problems directory that we're in right now, and it'll just list them out. So find enter. Whoa! Looks like there's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to kind of follow this over here, looks like it shows all the trunks, and then remember the forward slashes denote another path or another folder. So you can see flag here, right over here. Cool. And that must be the location we were at. So we can cat out that file if we wanted to. Cat, uh, we'll copy that. Cat and paste from browser. Paste that in. Enter. We've got the same flag we had last time. Perfect. And if you wanted to, you could CD into any of these directories to change directory to get there. But find will at least 
just dump out all of the subdirectories and recursively travel through the directories and folders in a given location. If you wanted to, you could do it in any directory or specify a directory as an argument. Again, check out the man page to see some of the other interesting and cool points you can do with that. But we did it. We solved leaf of the tree and now we can move on. Um, let's see what else we can do. But before we get started with some of the other things, let's let's take a, a little adventure. Let's try and get Linux set up on our own computer or a means that we can actually use a command line that's not just this shell. So. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, uh, I have to give a little shout out to my supporters, people that helped me out on Patreon. Spencer Clark, Gal Horowitz, uh, Suzuki Attila, Orgoloth, the Unruly Destroy Worlds, Bastion of Terror. <laughs> um, look, I may be butchering your name, so if I am, please let me know. I want to give you the love you deserve, guys. Uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, I'm so happy and flattered to know that you're willing to go on this adventure with me. Um, Hey, if you did like the video, please do leave a like. Um, if you'd like to have your name up here at the end of every video, it's just $1 for Patreon, uh, maybe every month, and $5 or more on Patreon will get you early access to the videos that I record whenever they're ready, not when YouTube releases them, because I normally release gradually, um, and I record in bulk, but I will slowly release things on YouTube. So if you want the content right when it's hot, right when it's ready for your faces, uh, just that's all, $5 on Patreon. Hey, if you're willing to, maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what else you'd like to see, what we can do better, how else you solved this. Um, and if you're willing to, subscribe. If you really want to help me out, check me out on Patreon. See you in the next video, guys. We'll install Linux.